I'm already ready. Welcome back to the Junk Room, everybody. It's me, the Junk Man, letting you know first I look at the purse. So, what are we going to talk about today in the Junk Room? Well, we're going to look at the 10 dumbest, worst He Man toys. And when I see He Man, I mean toys from Mattel's Masters of the Universe collection, the vintage years. 1980, I don't know, one, 1981, somewhere around there to about 1986. Now, most of these are going to become late in the series when I was out of it. I didn't even know they made until I started looking back into the series. I mean, I think I was out of it by 84, 85, right by the time the Hordex came. I think it was their names, the Hordex. I got those, but I was really too old to be getting those, but I still got them just because they were new. Uh, but I didn't even know some of the... I mean, they even made the King guy. You know the King from the cartoon? King Ralph? They made that figure. They made a figure of him. I couldn't believe all this. Anyway, before we do all that, let me waste your time and tell you you can go to thatjumpman.com and buy some cool t-shirts like this one right here. And if you're a fan of He-Man, you know what that is, and you know what this is, and you probably know what some of that is, right? And, as always, please help support this channel by going over to Patreon and become a Patreon supporter or just become a, a supporter here on YouTube and become a member. Get exclusive contents, videos early, and more. <sighs> Got all that out of the way. So now, let's talk about He-Man Masters of the Universe Collection, the vintage toys. I don't know if they call them vintage. I guess any toys is called vintage, but I'm not that big on the collecting He-Man. I played with them a lot when I was a kid. Sadly, I traded Star Wars around 1983 for them. I said I would never. I mean, people at my school would have He-Man toys. I'm not playing with He-Man. That's stupid. I'm Star Wars. I was always a one toy type of guy. I might have had a few toys here and there, but Star Wars was my thing. Star Wars is what I played with. He-Man, blech. Not doing it. And then one Christmas, I got a bunch of He-Man toys without even asking for them. I remember, I got a Castle Grayskull. I got two birds. You don't believe me, do you? You don't believe I got... He-Man toys for Christmas? Check this out. Now you know why Amy Kobe didn't want to talk to me. I mean, how could I compete with John with his perfect wing hair and his Izod shirts? And his great batting average. Whatever that means. Anyway, I'm here to talk about He-Man. So we're going to, this top 10 is not really in an order of the worst and the best and everything. I just wrote down 10 of them, to be honest with you. But we're going to start with number 10. And let's go. One I didn't know they made until today. How about that? I didn't even know they made this until today. Laser Power He-Man. That's right. You caught me looking over here cheating, didn't you? Laser Power He-Man. Let's take a look. Now, overall, I guess it's not that a stupid looking toy. But come on. It, look at it. It doesn't even look like He-Man. And this isn't some later 90s He-Man where they try to redo the line. This is from the vintage line. He doesn't even have only his famous furry underwear. But the face, everything, just doesn't look like He-Man. And this comes from Wave 7, 1988. I was way out of He-Man by this time period. That's no He-Man I remember. Now, they did a whole bunch of series of dinosaur, tigers, animals. I didn't know about this either. I remember seeing a picture of it probably back in the 90s, and I was like, what? This ain't no He-Man. I watch the He-Man cartoon every day at 3 o'clock after school, and I don't remember seeing any dinosaurs. <sighs> but check this out. I'm not even sure how you say it. Dinosaur? But look at it. It looks like some kind of egg rock, but it's a dinosaur. I can't figure out if it's going to be a dinosaur or a robot. I mean, I see some metal joints in it. I don't know if that's to hold a toy together. I don't know if that's there to hold a toy together or some kind of robot. I do know it's an evil warrior creature. This was released in 1987 as part of Wave 6. Don't remember this thing at all. It's clear by this time Mattel is reaching on things to make for this line. And check out this one right here. Extender. It's a guy you just pull him up in the middle and he extends. How long did they spend coming up with this name? 32 seconds? This is from 1986, Wave 5. Don't remember this one at all either, but of course, like I said, I was way out of He-Man by then. I mean, this was 1986. I was standing outside, holding hands with the rest of America, trying to find Haley's Comet. I didn't have time for He-Man toys anymore. Extender. Just pull him at the waist, and it extends. 
Again, they're really reaching here. Now this one here is two for one. It's a He-Man and Skeletor box set that was released around 1986. I don't remember this one at all, but check it out. They're both pretty bad, but the worst has to be this one, a Skeletor. Why does he have these big claws you put on his hands? How stupid is that? Ooh, watch out, Skeletor is gonna scratch you like a cat. It makes no sense at all. And look at this He-Man. Again, he has a different chest plate than the He-Man I'm used to, but I can overlook that. But what's this big thing He-Man's holding? Some kind of odd, strange sports equipment. I don't know. You get them both for the price of one, but to me, they're both pretty stupid. Now here's one that's back from Series 1, Series 2, really early in the wave, and I did have it, but I hardly ever played with it. Whenever I just needed some generic figure to show up or something, good or bad, I'll let him show up. I'm not sure. I think he's a good guy, but I'm not really sure. And I always call him Zodiac. Check him out. Released in 1982, a part of Wave 1. Why they thought this was one of the first figures they had to make, I'll never understand. No, Prince Adam wasn't in Wave 1. No, a sorceress was nowhere close to Wave 1. But who did we get? Zodiac. Zodiac or Zodiac, whatever his name is. I never liked this He-Man wannabe. Didn't like his weird looking gun. Didn't like his stupid helmet. Didn't like his chest plate. And I don't like his toes. Look at his toes. What is this? I don't know. I hate it. Now, as I said, it seems they were really running out of things to make by the end of this line. And here's one where they wasn't even trying anymore. They just took a ninja and made a figure out of it. Now, I'll be honest with you, out of all these bad ones, it's not a bad looking figure. It just doesn't really fit into He-Man. I mean, it's just a ninja. He has nunchucks, he has a sword, he has a very cool logo on his shirt. Hmm, I need to make that into a shirt. And he comes with an arrow and a crossbow, so I guess he's kind of like a Robin Hood ninja? I don't know, but the worst part is his name. Ninja, not ninja, ninja. Ninja the ninja. <sighs> really, come on, released in 1987 in wave six. Now here's one I would have bought as a kid. I can't believe they waited so long in the line to make the sorceress. I mean, it's one of the main characters of the cartoon. It, it should at least came with a Castle Grayskull. That would have made sense. But why is this so bad? Well, take a look. It ain't nothing but a damn fucking Bendum figure. Remember those Bendums? That's what this looks like. I guess it's not technically a Bendum, but it sure does look like one. Arms all straight out, but it does have one of the best thigh gaps I've ever seen. Released in 1987. That's right. The Sorcerer didn't come out to 1987, part of the Wave 6 line. I mean, around 1988, 89, I was talking to this guy about growing up on He-Man toys, and he mentioned he had the Sorceress. And I told him he was full of shit, that they didn't make the Sorceress, but we wish they did. He swore it down and he had it, and I didn't know till probably 93, 94, when I was getting back into collecting toys, that they made the Sorceress. So, Leonard, I apologize. You did have the Sorceress. Or you could have had. Who knows? You might have been still lying. Let's see what's next. Oh, it's a figure that you squeeze. So, they call it Squeeze. Look at this one. Look at his arms. How do you even play with this thing? You couldn't have him walk around with any other figures. If you stood up the figures and you had this guy come onto the scene, he would knock down all the other figures. His arms are a lot longer than his arms. There's no way this thing stands up unless you balance it on his hands. But even if you do balance him to stand up, how do you get him to play with the other figures? It's everything just gonna get in the way. When you try to make him and King Ralph kiss each other, it's just gonna be a headache. Now, like I said, they did some crazy dinosaur animal stuff in the later in the line, and I was gonna leave them off and just do one of them, but I had to talk about this one because this looks like a a tick mixed with a tiger. Looks like something Napoleon Dynamite might come up with. This could be the worst name of them all. Tiger. That's right. The Tiger Tiger. Now, I don't know why he's all swollen in the middle. I'm guessing the figure unfolds or some kind of transforming toy. I don't know. It's too stupid for me to even look into and figure out what it is. And why does it have screws all over it? Is this a cyborg tiger tick? So aggravating, look at this thing, and it intrigues me, but not enough to actually find out what exactly it is. But from the 1987 Wave 6 line, Tiger. And that's nine of the worst He-Man action figures. Number 10 is going to take us back kind of where we started. We started with the laser-powered He-Man. They made a laser-powered Skeletor also. 
and this looks nothing like the Skeletor I grew up on. First, he's wearing his cloak. Why does Skeletor have a cloak? I don't recall him wearing a cloak. Of course, he has his green bone face. Gotta have that for a Skeletor. He's got his little ram stick thing that he had in the original toy, but he's just really stupid looking if you ask me. If this was some other figure with a different name, I might give it a pass, but we're talking about Skeletor here. The greatest bad guy in Eternia. It was released in 1988, part of Wave 7, the last series of action figures. Again, it seems like they were trying to change the look of Skeletor and He-Man in this line, but it's part of the vintage line. It's not like they waited a few years and brought He-Man back out like they did in the 90s. No, this was part of the vintage line and they have a different looking He-Man and a different looking Skeletor. I guess they're just trying to find ways to kids to buy Skeletor again, or He-Man again. I mean, they did He-Man and Skeletor. Then they brought him out with that battle armor thing. Remember that? I refused to buy that even as a kid because I thought it was a gimmick. I was like, I got He-Man. It looks like the one in the cartoon. I'm not buying the one with the little thing you turn on the chest and it looks like a sword hit him. I never liked that gimmick. And then they came out with another He-Man gimmick too that he was wearing like red or something. I don't know. I ain't got time to look for that. Anyway, that's a look at the 10 worst He-Man action figures from the vintage line. And I'm sure I left some off. I probably could do 10 more. Like I said, at the very end of this line, they really got carried away with it. So in the comments below, let me know who I left off or tell me how wrong I am, how some of these, what I saw were bad, you thought were great. Or were you like me? Were you out of He-Man by 1986, 1987, by the end of these last few waves? Well, let me know all that and more in the comments below. And until the next video, as always, please thumb up so I know you like my content. And subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk again soon. Junk Man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.